Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we'll cover the Atomic Shop and the daily challenges. See what we gotta do in order to make some score. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. All right, so let's start with the uh, Atomic Shop. I believe that we should be having two or one new item reset. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now all this section I already covered last week and I think which section we gotta go to. That is the free and special offers. So today we've got the rock out for 58%. That's the first time I'm seeing such discounts. Lol. <laughs> well, I got only 440 atoms left. And the Nuka Cola lamp. Uh, one sec. Alright, so I just pulled up the patch notes. And according to the patch notes, the rock and roll uh, photo mode pose, right, should be 50%, not 58. Uh, but, okay, I guess. <laughs> uh,. Even the discount sort of match it. And, uh huh, okay. It's actually not 600 atoms, but it should be 500 according to the patch notes. With a 50% discount, that makes more sense that it's 250 uh, for the pose. So, okay. Uh, Nuka Cola uh, lamp. Uh, this one goes also with a 50% discount. And you can get this one for 125. Uh, atoms so that's pretty much it for the atomic shop let's check out what we got to do for the challenges so for the challenges claim a workshop complete an event you can collab these two you claim the workshop then you wait for a minute or two for the event to start you finish the event done uh, then in order to complete the gold star you need to complete five of all of these uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. five of all of these challenges then you gotta level up nuclear winter killer player easy just one player <laughs> this morning when I was doing that uh, kill a creature I killed 10 <laughs> 10 guys <laughs> like, okay uh, pick a lock okay uh, plant a crop in a workshop or camp 10 times okay and use photo mode to take a photo okay well they are actually all pretty easy to do. Uh, I think lockpick, you can find some lockpicked, I mean, some some lockpicking for the lockpicking uh, things somewhere in Flatwoods, if I'm not mistaken. But as I said, if you adventure around, you definitely will find one. Uh, yeah, I really don't know where to, f where to find a lockpick right now. So the other thing is make a photo. Super easy, right? Uh, crap uh, these things over here right so what you gotta do if you are like me and you have a a plantation oh wait hold on a second actually I know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that while uh, in oh come on challenges yeah you can do it in a workshop so I'm just gonna do it in a workshop let's go and capture ourselves a workshop So once again, any workshop will work. I, mean, I decided to take this one off, but any will work. So once you've captured the workshop, we have about like two minutes until the event will start. Uh, and once you do it, you will get it done. Then the next thing what we need to do is go to our food section and plant some food. How much corn do I have here? I don't have a lot of corn. Okay, so let's just waste this stuff right here. Bam, bam, bam. Let's go. There we go. Easy, easy. So, by the way, if you don't have any food components or anything like that, in that case, you could go to Silver Homestead. By the way, if you're a low level, maybe I would even recommend doing that. You go to Silver Homestead, and uh, over here, there's a whole plantation over here, so you can capture uh, this uh, Billings Homestead workshop. 
and pretty much do everything over there plus you got all the food there so you just pick it up and uh, replant it and you're done the the next thing what we're gonna uh, need to do is to wait until the event pops but to be honest what we are gonna do I just remembered where we can do a lock picking and that is uh, at the uh, Landview Lighthouse. I know that there's a terminal uh, that you can hack into without the need of any hacking perk cards and I believe it unlocks the safe and you can actually lockpick the safe. So let's go and check it out. Alright so once you fast traveled basically you just run all the way up and you'll see that house over there so and while we're doing this we're waiting for the event to start at the uh, claimed the workshop so that is cool we're, we're killing like a couple of rabbits with one shot oh I got some more score for uh, reaching 10k XP and voila we can hack the terminal but you will need a, a level 1 lockpick uh, in order to lockpick that safe over there so if you don't have one I highly recommend you getting that one perk uh, so any lockpick will work it could be a any lockpick, like lockpicker, master lockpicker, expert, or whatever. So you lockpick this thing, and voila, you get your score. Super nice and easy. All right, let me get my green thumbs because I always have this one on because I always forget to put it on when I need to pick up stuff. But anyway, what else do we have? Uh, complete an event, level up. Oh, okay, we're pretty much almost done. Sweet. So, bam, bam. Event we're gonna complete right now. Oh, kill a legendary enemy. How the hell did I miss that one? Lol. Okay. So, legendary enemies I usually find. Oh, we're in luck, ladies and gentlemen. Leader of the pack. <laughs> I think that's the one that will give us uh, low level wolves, three legendaries. And it calculates as an event, so if you see that one right there, that's your best pick. Because you get to kill, definitely you get to kill a legendary. I hope it's not the second stage where you have to kill the final wolf. Because when you complete when killing three legendaries, it's going to have three different locations where you got to go to. It will uh, end the event, you will get the rewards, and then it will automatically start the next event. But on the last, uh, the second event, not always it's a legendary for some reason. Previously, it was the case that it was always a legendary. So once we fast traveled, uh, yes, we're we're good, we're good, ladies and gents. Uh, this is actually the one that spawns in uh, more wolves. So as you can see over there, we'll definitely find a legendary, and uh, basically we get to complete this event and. We're done. <laughs> Man, I just love these uh, daily challenges. What's up? Radiation of Rumble just started. Guys, I highly recommend you to always do the Radiation of Rumble. That is the best event for... Uh, not only you get, you will definitely get a Legendary over there, but you get a whole bunch of XP over there. So, make sure you always drop whatever you're doing and go to do the uh, the radiational rumble because the amount of XP you get there is insane not the Molotov again oh I'm about to level up as well Lil. oh okay so I'm gonna do the original rumble and I'll complete all of my dailies <laughs> I love it man I just love it let's go so radiational rumble there we go Look at my level, 327, almost leveled up. Let's see how many levels I'll have once I'm done with this event. But man, this is crazy. Let's go, baby. So I just leveled up. <laughs> Let's go, and the event just, just started low. The amount of XP you get in this event is just insane. As I said, you, you drop whatever you're doing whenever you see this event. It doesn't matter, oh, pr preferably, it would be great and you see as I said this is already my third legendary here by doing this event just drop whatever you're doing and come here no matter if you beat the event I mean complete it or lose it uh, the good thing is you will still get a whole bunch of uh, XP for those 10 minutes while this event is up so at the moment nobody is running to collect the ore so most probably we're gonna fail it 
Uh, but the amount of XP and loot you I will get in this by doing this event is ridiculous insane. So that is super nice. And by the way, let's take a look how much score we'll also learn earn from this. It's, now right now I have 325. And the event has been live already for like 2 minutes. Well, this time the radiation was rumble was kind of bad. <clears throat> and I got only 200 score. Usually I get way more. Plus, nobody collected the ore, so it didn't summon a lot of uh, uh, enemies. But usually I get around maybe like 500. But the other good thing about this event is that you can also find the uh, Pleasant Valley tickets you can submit to the bot and get some custom rewards for that, including the uh, fancy pump shotgun, some outfits, and stuff like that. So yeah, this one is definitely on my list and uh, uh, one sec, I got like a decent and uh, levels up as well, uh, the XP, but as I said, this one wasn't the best, usually there's way more loot than this, so yeah, but I'm remaining to do just one final uh, part from the challenges and I'm done. Alright, so the final what is left for me is to complete this event, and I'm done! And all this took me about, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Where's the last thing? There it is. The last one, right? Yay! There we go. Challenges. I say, the only thing what is left is kill a player. All of these, I'm... I'm already completed. <laughs> Alright, Z-Clan, and this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, and uh, nobody can react to them. So if you want some reaction to your comments, make sure not to swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I'm from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to 5,511 Z Clan members, growing still super fast. <laughs> What's up? And uh, if you would like, uh, feel free to join our Discord server. We have an active Discord server with over 500 members right now. Uh, so once joining, please read the rules because I do ban people for not following the rules on Discord. It's pretty much simple. Uh, family friendly and no spam uh, you know they're legit if you don't get it you read the rules okay because uh, so far I've un unbanned only one person and it took a couple of good months so uh, read the rules once you read uh, go to the get started section uh, select the Z sign that you accept the rules you'll get access to the general chat select the platform you play on so it'll be easier to team up with someone and select the game that you play so you get access to the chats of those specific games that you play play Fallout 76 click Fallout 76 chats to 76 welcome <laughs> alright thanks all for watching I hope you enjoyed it once again and you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it at and I'll see you later by the way if you wanna join my twitch live streams the link to my twitch channel is down below and if you follow once again thank you for the follow <laughs> I'll catch you all later From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul By the might of the sword we put the pen to the test We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best Z Clan! Z Clan! Our hearts and our soul we will forever know Our community stronghold, this is our song to the depths of the heart <laughs> of the one sort of power.